Hey everybody, I hope you're having a great day, or evening, no matter where you are in the world. Just want to say thank you real quick, we're at 19,300 subscribers, that is really amazing, making that big push to 20,000. Also want to remind everybody that you can become a member now to eBuzz right here on YouTube for just 99 cents a month. And heads up, the MVP, VIP, and Pro versions will drop on January 1st, 2023. They'll be gone, and all those perks will transfer over to the 99 cent eBuzz Central member. It's a good way to support the channel and a good way to support the content you like. Speaking of members, I want to thank the two newest members I have, Grayson Petty and Paul Borchart. Thank you guys so much for joining the channel, and thank you guys so much for believing in the content enough to want to become a member. I also want to remind you, if you haven't seen my previous four videos, there's a lot of good information in it. Uh, Linux privacy and security concerns. Uh, wow, the perfect Linux distro. Microsoft is destroying Linux with WSL and WSL2. And of course, one of the best, Arch Spins Zero Linux. Those are the last four. If you haven't had a chance to take a look at them yet, zip on over and check them out. Now, as you can tell, I cover a lot of different information on my channel. There are a lot of different Linux YouTubers out there, but I do get comments every now and then, specifically from not trolls, but people that really ask the serious question. Why in the world would I switch to Linux if Windows is working for me? Here's my point. If you're somebody that's technical, if you're somebody that likes to tinker, if you're somebody that likes to dig a little deeper than just turn a computer on, do your task, turn it off, and be done with it. If you're more than that, Linux is a rabbit hole that you can go down that will be thoroughly fun and enjoyable for you. Now, having said that, let me zip on over to DistroWatch. And when you get to DistroWatch, now let me point something out real quick because there is a misconception about this website. If you go over here, I hear people all the time saying MX Linux is ranked number one on DistroWatch. These aren't rankings of popularity of a distro. What these are are hits per day for that specific distro. It doesn't mean that MX Linux is the number one Linux distro. What it does mean is more people visit and hit it per day than they do in OS, but it doesn't really give you a complete rating of, hey, this is the number one Linux distro that's available out there today. Now, a lot of these up top are your famous or more popular distros, your MX Linux, Endeavor, Mint, Manjaro, Pop! OS, Fedora. And one of the reasons I say this doesn't say this is the number one Linux distro is for this simple fact. There are a lot of people that have been using Mint for years or like when I was using it 13 years ago. I'm not going to come to DistroWatch and hit it. I'm not going to click on it. I'm going to go directly to Linux, Mint, and download it. I'm not going to do a search for it. I'm just going to go get it. I'm going to go grab it. But back to my regular topic. Why use Linux at all? If you're somebody that likes to tinker, like I said, you want more than just turning your computer on, completing your task, and then getting off of it, Linux is a rabbit hole that you can get lost in, and it's a fun rabbit hole. There are so many different things you can try. There are so many things that you can tinker with and play around with. And let me tell you something. If you download a Linux operating system, my goal when I first wanted to switch to Linux, I had a specific set of goals that I needed to accomplish with my desktop. And I wrote those down. And at that time, it was just general work. It was office work. It was, you know, being able to get on the web, being able to check my email, things like that. It wasn't too in-depth. Uh, I wanted to see, can I pull this off? in a media center. At that time, I had about four hard drives that had my media collection on, and I wanted to make sure that I could continue using and viewing my media inside of Linux. And I tried Ubuntu, and I fiddled around with Ubuntu for a while. I ended up landing on Linux Mint back in 2008. And I want to say it was Linux Mint 8 or 9. It may have been Linux Mint 8. And I was able to get it set up and do everything that I could do on a Windows computer on my desktop that I had and didn't miss a beat. And I was like, this is impressive. And at that point, I was like, okay, I want to tinker with it a little bit. So I installed and wiped Windows immediately, loaded it up, 
And one thing I did notice right off the bat, we don't have this problem much anymore because most of the systems you buy nowadays have uh, SSDs in them. But I remember that desktop I had in my, I had it set up in my bedroom. When Windows was on or I was watching movies, you could constantly hear the hard drive just grinding consistently over and over and over. And it just drove me nuts. Now, I do want to point out that once I installed Linux Mint on it, I sat down and I was like, and at that time I was married. I said, I asked my wife, I said, do you hear that? She goes, hear what? I said, exactly. When I put Linux on it, the hard drive completely stopped making that noise. It was so great to have a distribution at that time or an operating system that I put on hardware that I had, that I had specific use case for that just didn't sit there and grind on my hard drive 24 seven. Now, if you do use DistroWatch, you get your latest releases over here. But like I said, you can get lost in a barrage of different Linux distributions. Like MX Linux, you just click on that. There's their website right there. And you've got a hundred different websites listed to the right. You can go through here and get information from all of these different distributions. And really just have the time of your life trying to just play and tinker. That's how a lot of people start out with Linux. If you're a tinkerer, if you like to play around, if you like to educate yourself, that's what I originally wanted to do, was take the few things that I were doing, switch it over to Linux, and then educate myself every way I could in what I could do with Linux. Because that, honestly, is where the fun comes in, is when you start learning different things that you can do on Linux and different things you can use Linux for. I mean, at the end of the day, if you're somebody, like I said, that hits the power button, wants to check your email, wants to do your task, and then just shut it down, Linux is probably not for you. But if you like adventure and you like tinkering, Linux is your ball game. Linux is where you need to be. Like I said, make a list of what you like doing. Make a list of what needs to be done on a daily basis. Find a Linux distribution that lets you do all those base tasks and use it and then kind of play tinker around find out what's going to work for you find out different things that you can do on linux if you're somebody that wants to learn and you're somebody that has the time to tinker and loves to tinker linux is the place for you so my question to you is how did you get started in linux please share your comments below let me know what was your first distribution how did you get started in linux and are you somebody that's new to Linux, that has questions, that needs answers? I have a great community here that would be more than happy to help you. Just drop those in the comments below. Please do me a favor before you leave today. Please like, subscribe, or follow my channel. The more likes I get keeps me in YouTube's algorithm, which means the information you just saw in this video, if it was helpful to you, it can be helpful to somebody else. And subscribe. It doesn't cost anything. And if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you like the channel and enjoy the videos that we are producing, we are on three separate platforms, YouTube, Utreon, and Odyssey. And you can become members on all three. On YouTube, it's only 99 cents. On Utreon, it's $2.99. And on Odyssey, it's $4. You can also buy us a cup of coffee, maybe go over to PayPal and throw us a donation, or go to Patreon and become a patron to the channel. All those links will be in the description below. As always, thank you so much for watching my video, and I will see you in the next video.